We live therefore in a time that is paving the way for the coming of this person called Ad Dajjal. Ad Dajjal literally means the liar, the deceiver. And this deceiver cannot deceive people so perfectly until a road or an environment has been prepared for his coming. Is that Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu had said that the Dajjal will not appear until people forget about him and the Imams stop mentioning him on the pulpits. No doubt, it is not very often that we hear reminders of Dajjal and his time. So perhaps from that perspective, the time is near. The Jews are waiting for the Messiah to come. They believe the ancient Jesus, the real Jesus, he was an imposter, he was a false messiah. This is in their Torah now, now which they have played around. So they're still waiting for the Messiah. But they say the Messiah will not come out until the Temple of Solomon is rebuilt. They have to rebuild it. And the state of Israel becomes established. And the word of God, meaning the religion of the Israelites, of the Torah, is practiced throughout the world. That's what they said in their Torah. Then the Messiah will come out. That's when the Messiah will come out. The Christians, they say, there will be an Antichrist, who is the Dajjal, and then Christ will come out against him. So they're very close to the Muslims. The Prophet ﷺ also told us, the hour will not arrive until about 30 lying Dajjals appear, each claiming that he is a messenger of Allah. But Rasul Sallallahu stood up and he said, I will tell you, every prophet that came to his people who told him something about the Dajjal, but I will tell you something about him that no other prophet has ever told his people. And he began to describe so much about his features, you can read about it in Sahih Muslim or Sahih Bukhari. And he said that the right eye will be like a floating grape, shaking while in the sun. The left eye will also be defective, not blind, but defective, having a thick film which will give it the look of green glass and it will be blood bulging to bulge. Furthermore, the Prophet ﷺ described his complexion as being ruddy white. Ruddy white means white to the point of redness. The people of Finland, north, the northern areas of Europe, you'll find them having this complexion white with redness in it, call it ruddy white. His forehead will be prominent and his neck wide. And he will be short and stout with a powerful build. And his back will be slightly hunched. His feet will be set apart, all the muscles and everything else. And he will have a lot of curly hair, like small headed snakes curled on each other, locked. He will also be sterile, having no children. According to the Prophet ﷺ, he most resembles Abdul Uzza ibn Qatan, or Qatan from the Mustalaq clan of Khuza'a tribe who died in pre-Islamic time. So he described him as looking like a particular individual. If he comes out at a time when I am with you, then I will be the guardian to protect you from it. I take it upon me. Allahu Akbar. This is from his mercy sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his care for his ummah. He said, Ana kafifu. I will take him on other than you. Even the Rasul sallallahu cannot kill him. Only Jesus alayhi sallam can kill him. He said, but if he comes out after my time, then every person is responsible for themselves. And he said, be careful, for he will deceive. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did say, ما بين خلق آدم إلى قيام الساعة أمر أكبر من الدجال. There is no trial from the time of Adam's creation until the last hour greater than that of الدجال. And he informed us that the coming of الدجال was warned about by all of the prophets. وأن الله عز وجل لم يبعث نبيا إلا حذر أمته من الدجال. Allah most great and glorious never sent a prophet 
without warning their nation about a dead guy. And that's why it is not surprising to find in the scriptures and the writings of the Christians and the Jews reference to the Antichrist. When he comes out, it will be very difficult to stand your ground. Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he tells us, the believers will unknow him from three letters on his forehead, kafir or kufr, and the rest of the world will follow him. The weak believers will follow him. When is the time? The Prophet sallallahu told us that it would be in the time of the Mahdi. During that period, there will, after the Mahdi succeeds in overcoming the forces of other nations and sets up a rule, a rule which the Prophet sallallahu had said would be a time when justice would be spread throughout the earth. He will fill the earth with justice and fairness as it was filled with injustice and inequity. And he will rule for seven years. Towards the end of his rule, a drought will begin on earth. There will be three years of drought. In the first year, Allah will command the sky to withhold one-third of its water. Rain, one-third of the rain will stop. In the second year, two-thirds will stop. And in the third year, no rain will take place anywhere on earth. Rain would stop altogether. Has that happened yet? No. These are the signs to let you know clearly that Jal is not here and now. When that circumstance arises, everybody will know it. When there is no rain anywhere on the earth, it will be in the papers, it will be known. It will be well known. And at that time, the Jal will appear from the east. And he will not be able to enter Mecca or Medina. And then Isa alayhi salam will destroy him. This will happen in Palestine. And the Mahdi will rise in a sham. And there will be a great war, 80 flags against the Muslim nation by itself in a sham. It is going to happen soon.